Hey, what's up, you guys? This is your boy, Rel2G. The coolest man on YouTube, but I can be wild and crazy as you folks are out there. Welcome to the Elimination Chamber Prediction Show. This is my take on what I think is going to go down this weekend in Milwaukee, Wisconsin for the WWE pay-per-view. Let's get with the card, shot with your four matches, possibly a fifth. First, we got the Divas Championship match. We got the Divas Champ. Beth Phoenix, the Glamazon, she'll defend against Tamina Snooker, Jimmy Fly Snooker's daughter. This is going to be an interesting match to begin with because it's been real quiet in the Divas division. Now that Karma is back, I think something's going to start to erupt between Karma and the Divas division. But I'm going to say right now, Tamina's going to have her chance at a Divas title, but not right now. Beth Phoenix, I think, will retain her Divas title this Sunday. I think someone's going to interfere or something to that effect. Won't be surprised if Karma interfere or one of the Divas help her out and try to make sure that Tamina doesn't get that title. So I won't be surprised if Natalia tries to come in and interfere and whatever, and Beth Phoenix is going to probably go head over heels with her because these two are like not really looking eye to eye right now. There's a little bit of animosity going on in the Divas division, but I think seriously Beth Phoenix will retain her title at Elimination Chamber. Alright, then we got the Ambulance match, which is a rematch to the Royal Rumble. John Cena versus the Big Red Monster Kane. Now it becomes interesting. We know what happened this past Monday night in the Ambulance. He was about to get taken out in the ambulance by Kane, but Cena came to save the day, and these two embraced each other. I'm like, oh, wow. And then Zach is heartbroken because he sees his girlfriend kissing on John Cena, his best friend. Broski, you kissing my girlfriend, and I'm brokenhearted because she dumped me for you? That's why you got slapped, man. And I don't care what you do, because... Y'all going to beat each other down. I pretty much think they're going to really beat each other down. But the question remains is, will Zack Ryder still be in a wheelchair? Will he be walking in crutches? We don't know. But I think this is the point now that John Cena will start embracing the hate slightly because of what Zack Ryder did to him on Monday night with the slap to the face. It's still fresh in his mind. So I'm going to say that John Cena... Is definitely going to beat up on his best friend, and then eventually he's going to start hating, embracing the hate. Kane's going to like it. We got to see a face, and we got to see a heel. And I think right now it's going to lean towards John Cena, and Zack Ryder will be the brand new John Cena of this business. So it's starting to form, but it's not quite ready yet. So... But it's, it is going to start taking place at Elimination Chamber and moving on to WrestleMania when Cena faces The Rock. The winner of this ambulance match is going to be John Cena by far because Kane has been disqualified and Cena's been winning the match. So I think Cena will win this ambulance match at Elimination Chamber. Will he be a part of it? Probably so. So we just have to wait and see. But I think John Cena will start embracing the hate and the rise above hate will start to slowly disappear we'll have to find out all right then we got the elimination chamber matches of both raw and smackdown first smackdown's elimination chamber we got the world heavyweight champion daniel bryan or d bry he'll defend his title against the great Kali, big show Wade Barrett, the Intercontinental Champion Cody Rose, and now entered into Randy Orton's place is Santino Mavella. Yes! Randy Orton suffered a concussion by the hands of Daniel Bryan when he got hit upside the head with the belt this past Monday night, so Santino will take the place of Randy Orton. He's not going to be much of a factor in this match, I don't think, so I think he's just going to be there to kind of like fill in the slot vacated by Randy Orton. So it's going to boil down between Big Show and Daniel Bryan. And the bottom line is this. Daniel Bryan is going to find a way to win this match. Big Show is going to give it his all, but I think Daniel Bryan will retain his title. 
Sheamus is right behind him right now, and I think those two are going to go at it at WrestleMania. Then we got the Raw Elimination Chamber match. We got the WWE Champion CM Punk. He defends against Kofi Kingston, The Miz, R-Truth, the show off Dolph Ziggler, and Chris Jericho. Man, this is going to be an intense Raw Elimination Chamber whatsoever. I think the best in the world will be getting it in with the best in the world at what he does. I'm talking about Chris Jericho and CM Punk. If there is a winner, and I do believe we're going to have a winner, I won't be surprised if it be Chris Jericho because he's been in six elimination chamber matches and he's thrown, he's eliminated as many superstars in this particular match. So I won't be surprised if Jericho wins the WWE Championship and CM Punk is really going to feel the on with him. But I'm going to say that CM Punk will retain his title, and that will give Chris Jericho the open advantage to really start feuding with CM Punk all the way up until WrestleMania and what I think is going to be the end of the world, according to Chris Jericho. So it's starting to happen. Chris Jericho and CM Punk will most likely face each other at WrestleMania. Look out for that. It's going to be shocks. It's going to be surprises at this elimination chamber this weekend. I assure you. I also think Triple H will be confronted once again by The Undertaker. If he doesn't be there at the pay-per-view, but he'll be on the Titantron. I think Triple H is going to be facing The Undertaker at WrestleMania. Shawn Michaels is also going to be a part of this match. And I think at the end, do we see Kevin Nash and... Shawn Michaels forming the click once again and turning their backs on their best friend, Triple H, because he wants to rule the WWE because he doesn't want to challenge The Undertaker. We got to wait and see because th th this is starting to form into something really, really interesting. I grant you that. Oh, there is one more match I think they're going to add. It's going to be for the WWE Tag Team Champions. Epicorn Primo defends against... The Usos, Rosa Mendez, is the manager of the Tag Team Champions. I think we're going to see a title change. The Usos will get their first taste of the Tag Team Championship this weekend at Elimination Chamber. That is my predictions for this week's event on pay-per-view. You watch it, I know I will, and I will be back after it's all over to give you the post show as to what really went down and if I'm correct. Yay, and if I'm not, we'll just have to find out what happens on Raw the next night. But subscribe to my channel anyway, come back again, and also check my other channel, Rally Rel267, and my Twitter page, Overrated underscore Rel. I'm Rel 2 g Enjoy the rest of your weekend, you guys, and I will see you after the pay-per-view on Sunday. Right now, I'm out. Peace.